Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to answer some of the comments that we've received on the Israel video, which got a lot of comments. I'm not going to talk to the trolls because you think I'm stupid and I disagree. So what else is there to say, right? We just agree to disagree. Now, as for the rest, I think there are three general buckets that I can put all the comments under. So I'm going to start with the first. This one I'm going to call, did you watch the video? So this is Daphna Barak 4941. She says the reason Hamas attacked Israel is because they were discussing an agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Iran was not interested in this. This is exactly what we said in the video. I hope you'll watch it in its entirety. Now, Kevin Mahon 7848 writes, Hamas attacked to stop normalization accords. This would have been the former end for Palestinian statehood. Saudis would have been a major Sunni power and the home of the two holy sites. Hamas struck as they were being pushed to the side. Again, it's all in the video. Of course, we call them the Abram Accords, not the Normalization Accords. But otherwise, all of it is right there. Then there is 123 WATC, because clearly a very privacy conscious. This one says she didn't talk about how Israel was attacked a number of times by the neighboring countries and its consequences. Just a one-sided narrative. This is absolutely not true. I talked about all the different Israel-Arab wars and I made clear that Arabs got their asses kicked each time. Okay, now this lot I'm going to call, what about ancient history? See, you can start any story at any point in history, right? And you can always go to some point in history that suits your narrative. For example, someone writes, you're giving history since the Ottoman Empire. Try to go to the time of Canon. Sure, why don't we try and go to the time of Neolithic era? Or maybe we should go to Mesopotamia. Or maybe we should go to the Pharaohs. That's the same thing I want to say to Daphna Barak. 4941 who says, why don't you go back before the Ottoman Empire when Israel owned entire Israel? Why didn't you tell them that Egypt and Jordan attacked Israel thinking they would win, but they lost and Israel won the territory? Okay, that bit I definitely did say. And Palestinians refused negotiations and wanted the entire Israel without Jews? Well, yes, they did refuse the negotiations and I said that too, they attacked instead. But what does this have to do with the Ottoman Empire? If you go before the Ottoman Empire, there is no such thing as Israel. There's no such thing as Palestine. Um, in fact, you have, you know, the Pharaohs, the Roman Empire, then you have, you know, Judaism, then you have Christianity, then you have the Muslims. I mean, honestly, when you, when you talk about that part of the world, it's really a matter of choosing your point in time and you can make any case that you want. Now, the last one, this is, Oh my God, the world is run by Jews. Now, what can I say about that? Rashid Rahman, 9673. He writes, Zionist lobby controls the American political system totally now. Netanyahu is a fake Jew and a war criminal. Unfortunately, he has more power than Biden, even though Biden's administration is 50% Jewish. Now, this is the bit that confuses me. If Netanyahu is a fake Jew, then how come he has all the power? Really, Rashid, I think you should really think this through. So Jews4037 writes, the Balfour Declaration was a promise of support for a Jewish homeland. There were no promises as to definite land boundaries for a Jewish homeland. In fact, any support by the British was deliberately ambiguous due to various conflicting wants and needs of Christians, Muslims and Jews in the region. I'm going to actually reword that. In fact, Britain made very specific promises, except it made very specific promises to the Jews, to the Arabs, and even to France. And yes, they were all conflicting, and which is why it couldn't fulfill any of them. Okay, Halija Hartman, 9392. Russia and China will help Palestine to have their sovereignty and independent state. It is important to have peace in the Middle East, we need oil from the Middle East. US has failed to bring about peace in the Middle East and cannot be relied on. Yup, everything you said about the US is right. 
But I think you're really optimistic about Beijing and Moscow if you think they really care about your oil or your well-being. Well, that's about it. Keep writing, and I'm sorry if I'm if I sound a little, you know, snarky. Um, but I really enjoy reading your comments, and I'm happy if you to answer any kind of follow-up questions or any gaps you think I should address in my future videos. Thank you again for watching, and thank you again for taking the time to write.